Welcome to Brownie Points. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. Come on in. Come on in. Are you from the page or yours? Okay. That's your Hi there, hi there. Come two on people. in. Come on, come in, like it, and share it. Come on in, like it, share it. Come on. Come on, good people. Who's on with this? Talk to us. Who's on with this? Let's see. I'm ready to have some great dialogue. Are you guys? Let me get this light in together. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Uh oh. <laughs> Look, stepping on it. Oh, yeah, we on. How y'all doing, people? We on? Okay. Yeah. Kia Urban, Tatora Payne, how you doing? Eureka, how y'all doing? Come on, y'all share this video. Come on, share it. Share it to your pages. Share, share it to your pages and let somebody else catch you on. Like this video first. Can you please do that? Like the video. Share it to your pages and let somebody else see what you get ready to get tonight. It's gonna to be good. I'm excited. I promise it's gonna be good. I'm excited. Come on. I promise it's gonna be good. There we go. It's gonna be good. Let me share. Are y'all excited? Have you guys missed this? I missed this. I have. Okay, we're trying to get out everything settled. See, that's what happens when it's when it's live. <laughs> hey guys, hello, hello. We're so excited to be with you. Uh, we, we've been away for a little bit. Ministry has been, uh, I don't want to say ministry because, because I really truly believe that this is ministry. Uh, but the, the, the church and the family and the mentorships and, uh, all the behind the scenes things have been so amazing. Uh, but we wanted to definitely be here with you all, you know, with everything that's going on. Hey, 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 I look stunning. Wait, well, thank you. You know, I, I really, and I'll get back to that in just a minute, but I, I told you guys that I believe that this is real ministry. Uh, Dr. Brown and myself, we have been in this thing, and we'll get into that in a little bit as well, but we have been in marriage now for, we'll be celebrating 19 years, guys. Like somebody should have been hearts. Y'all should have been doing backflips. <laughs> you should have been doing, you know what I mean? Like flags. We should have everything, right? Because in this day and age, not just marriage, but relationship, period. Um, and we, we wanted brownie points. We really wanted to kind of revamp because we're realizing that it's not just about marriage, but it is also about relationships. Relationships are faltering. Uh, not many people, whoever your day one was, you know, you're like, where they at? <laughs> where are they? What has happened to them? Where, where, where have they gone? Um, and then, you know, for marriages, it's, it's, it's been, it's, it's a struggle. You know, it, it really, it's a struggle sometimes. Let's say that if, if God is not authority in it, but also not just it being a struggle, but sometimes just trying to make sure that we're evolving within marriage and relationship. And then are we really ready for are we really ready for relationship yeah. and that's with you know loved ones friends uh boyfriend girlfriend whatever that looks like husband wife are we really ready for that and i think we have to ask ourselves those tough questions so we want it to be before you guys um and just have really great dialogue i believe that when you have dialogue with clarity and I really do mean dialogue with clarity. You get a better understanding of, or not just a better understanding, yeah. but you really get the answers for as to why either things have been good or things have been bad, or I should continue on this path or not. Absolutely. And so I just, I, we're, we're excited. So we want to welcome you on to our first official brand. I, I was almost a little nervous, y'all. Yeah, right. You know, like this is something we talk about, but this is something we're passionate about. This is something we're very passionate about. So you guys tag someone, share with someone, uh, because it's not just to those that are married. Because I, I, I've heard in times past, like, you know, you guys are advocates uh, for marriage. And we are. Yeah. Uh, but I believe that beyond that, again, we're advocates for relationship. The enemy hates covenant. The enemy hates uh, when you are with one accord, the enemy hates when you are yeah. communicating together. The enemy hates anything that is going to glorify God. And so, and I believe that anything that you get here on earth, it is because of who you're either connected to or you disconnected from. That's excellent. 
Exactly. Right. You've disconnected from because I truly believe that many of your blessings, uh, many of the real people that's supposed to be in your life is because you have not disconnected. You've had spaces that have been occupied uh, by uh, guests that should not. Yeah. And so because of that, I believe that it is hindered me. But we'll get into all of that. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to let me be quiet for a moment. Let me cool. Let me let me call this. OK. All right. I, uh -oh. So, yeah. All right, so people listen. Um, so, so here, here's here, here's a few things that we, here are some um, some housekeeping rules, all right, <laughs> that, that we're gonna always do when we do brownie points. Okay, so do you know the 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 point, the brown, the finger, the brown finger? Whenever you, whenever it's a good point to you, just just type in the the pointed finger, point point the finger, or you can do a brown heart. I like point. the heart. I like the heart. Okay, she prefers so like the, the hearts. Heart. She prefers the hearts. Because right? see, I see, I, you can, know, can, I can, 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 can somebody do that for me? Just drop, drop. I saw our daughter Tara did that. So drop the brown, the brown hearts in there. Whenever you, if it's something you like, instead of you know, you know, say clap. You know, and you're in the coffee <laughs> house, you clap, and you know, clap, clap, snap, snap, snap. But if you like it, just, just, just type in the comments the brown heart. Listen, y'all, look. Um, I'm not a good math. I'm not. I'm not excellent with math at all. Uh, Shakita Perry is on here. She can tell you that uh, I'm not good with math at all. However, we exposing our stuff. Baby. We doing everything. That's what people want you to yeah, do. Yeah, I like that, Miss Jacqueline Graham. That's excellent. All right, I like that. And so um, I like that too, Eureka. But um, so, but I know we have 34 people on. It's only 20 likes. I love. So, so we need that to be uh, congruent. Yeah. Uh, we, we need you to make that equivalent. So we got 35 people on. We need at least 35 likes and little hearts. All right, there you go. 21. Get just get it up. So don't just come on here to just be snooping <laughs> around now. If you're gonna if you're gonna hang out with the Browns, hang you out with the Browns. browns. Yeah. Right? Don't, don't don't let people think you, you know, that, that you're ashamed to be associated with us. Yeah. All right. Um, so we what we're, what we're trying to do is get these these likes and these views up. Um, because there's some great things that we have in store yeah. um relationally wise. And so we're gonna do some things. Like um, do some marriage retreats. We all we also gonna do something. We talk to singles too. We're yeah, not just gonna be yeah. talking to married people. We're talking about relationships in totality. Yeah. So we're gonna talk tonight, but also have oh, those brown hearts look amazing. I See like that. that? Yeah, yeah. Right? they look amazing. The brown hearts. Come on, Sh share this video. Um, are, are we public or? Or are we, how can you tell if we, if we, uh oh, let's see, I'll go, let me go, you go ahead and talk, let me yeah. take care of all of this, what, God, God is sending us assistance for all of this, I'm yeah. just letting you know, okay, yeah, yeah. let me check all of it out, yeah, so listen, so, so tonight, we, we're, you know, like, once again, for those of you who don't know us, we, we would like to just intro, reintroduce ourselves to some, or, or, or introduce ourselves to some, and, and that is that, um, we, 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 who we are, we are the Browns. Like she said, we've been, we've been married 19 no, years. Oh, Tyra said we are public. Okay. Um, okay so thank, thank you, Tyra. So we'll be 19 years in a few weeks. Okay. And I'm, yeah, I'm, a, I'm super pumped. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm super Do excited. For 19 years, <laughs> 19 years of marriage. All right. Would so you marry me again? I'll marry you tomorrow. You see, I'm asking them tough questions yeah. right while he's on the spot, right? And I'm asking. No, I'll marry you again tomorrow. I'm good. I, I'll marry you tomorrow. All right, so listen, so 19 years, that's who we are. Um, we, we've been doing ministry together for yeah. 20 plus years. Yeah, yeah. Y'all, he snatched me up when I was a babe, right? 20 plus years. And then yeah. and then we've been um we 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 we've been pastoring in total for like about all my life. 15, <laughs> no, 17 years of pastoring. All of my life. Yeah, so we got yeah, 18 years of marriage, yeah. 17 years of pastoring. Yeah. Um, of course, we have two children. Um, we have planted, we have started five churches with name, you know, five names. We named five churches, started five churches over three states. So I'm, I'm just trying to give you some credentials so y'all know who you're listening to. Right. And not only that, but we are licensed counselors. Yeah. So we, we, we've been approved to give counsel to many. Yeah. We are published, we are published authors. Yeah, we. We are published yeah, authors. Yeah, we are these we, we. Yeah, we are published authors. Yeah. And we are, we, we are. Ordained. Or, really yeah, ordained. ordained. But, but we are legitimate doctorate degree earners. Okay, no, that, we have that. earned doctorate degrees. So you're not listening to someone who's just talking off the top of her head. Yeah. So I'm just, we're just trying to show you guys who you're listening to. Yeah. 
And then our marriage has been to uh, H-E-L double hockey, hockey sticks <laughs> and back. And back. And so we're not coming to you all saying we have a perfect, we have a perfect marriage and our marriage has been right. perfect all of our life, but we're perfect for where we are in our lives yeah. now. And we're yeah. thankful for that. We've, in, so we've endured everything yeah. that a marriage can endure. So when we share with you, we're sharing from an experiential standpoint Absolutely. as well as a, uh, a, you know, a prepared standpoint right. as it relates to being qualified to talk about this. And so we, we, we've right. experienced everything that a marriage can experience. And, and so we don't want to divulge all of our golf, uh, all of our stuff all over. But, but with anything that a marriage can endure that could have led to divorce, we've experienced it. Yeah. But we've overcome. Yeah. We've overcome it. And these are things that we've worked out in our own private life. Absolutely. And so that's why we can give you strategies and wisdom on how to overcome those things in your marriage. Absolutely. Absolutely. And in your and those of you who are preparing for marriage. So, so, so when we talk about marriage, we want those who are not married to be listening. What's up, Jimmy Angram? That, that was my roommate in college, right? y'all. So he my, know, man. Yeah, so he know us. So he, when I was Jim, fast. Jim, Jim was, Jim, <laughs> Jimmy was with us when I was sneaking around my dorm I was room. fast. The Reverend, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I, I, I was real low you down there. You know, real low down. Thank you, Jimmy, for not uncovering our senior. I was, oh, real, I was, I was real low down when I was in college. So, so, so Jimmy was oh, my roommate, Lord. right? Oh, so, so all we're saying is that we've experienced everything. <laughs> So, so how to do it wrong, how to do it wrong, how to think right. you're doing it right, right, and then how to get it right, yeah, and then think you're doing it wrong all over again. So, oh Lord Jesus! So, so we we've done everything. So Jimmy, was, <laughs> Jimmy was my roommate when we were fornicating. Right. Fornicating, baby. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't believe we said that. What was so no, no. So the thing is, all we want you guys to know is get that a twin, baby. all the thing we want you to know is that we'll always be honest with you. Oh Jesus! We're, we're, we're all that's you shit. remember the twin man? Yeah, oh, a twin, twin man. How yeah. he just start sweating, y'all? We didn't make the preacher. He just <laughs> I'm talking about my sins before the oh, before, before all, before all these sinners. <laughs> Hey, listen. Hey, hey, listen. Once again, look, look, y'all. Look, oh, I told you, you, I'm not good at math, but I do know thank you, fifty Jesus. people are on on the twenty eight lights. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Do better than that. Oh, now, if you have not liked the video or loved the video, can you please do both or either? Yeah. Right now, come on, do it. Go ahead and do it. Go this ahead and do amazing. it. This Go ahead and amazing. do it. All right. So, so, so tonight, so, so tonight, we're, we're, we're going to talk about. Um. And now, this is for married people, those who are dating, those who are engaged. But, uh, but, but, please, can, can y'all go ahead and um like this video and share it and, and put it in your in your groups. I told you those people add you to the groups. Go ahead and add this to their groups as well. Yeah. So, um, anything you want to say before we I just want to see, yeah, Maybe you want to wait to the end, but I just want to see if anyone had any questions about us before it, we yeah, talk to them. Yeah, any questions uh, for because us? Because I, I want, I want you to feel as though you know us on some level, as much as you know we share and we do. We really do share, and we're going to have very transparent dialogue with you guys. But, but I want you to, you know, feel as if you're sitting in the room with us. You're sitting in the house with us. You know, you're engaged in conversation with us, you know, that because our story may not be your story. However, um, we have lived long enough. We have been within relationship long enough. We have we have counseled long enough until we have acquired knowledge where we speak on just about everything. And so I just anybody who has a question for us about who we are and what you know, what we stand for. I want to give you that opportunity, that moment to ask us, because I believe that most times people won't receive from you unless they, they feel as if they can identify with you. And real talk, I believe that some people identify with, an, with a figment of their imagination. Yeah. You know, they identify with the, the persona of what relationship is or the persona of what people project or put out there. And, and, and the more I see a lot of these things, I'm like, people, we have got to have better role models. Not just saying that we be, you know, your role model. I, that's not what I'm saying. I said, and please hear this. Our marriage, we're not trying to make your marriage. I'm telling you, you take, I never get this right, but you chew the, you eat the meat, throw out the bone. I never that's get that right. Answer. That's it. I said it right. it right. I got it right. Yeah. And where's the boy George? It's a miracle. It's a miracle. I it's got it right. You, you chew the meat, 
spit out the bone. Yeah. All I'm saying is you take from us what is going to be advantageous for your relationship or your potential relationship. All we're telling you is is that we've acquired some things and so we want to share that with you. But I think too often that we emulate or we mimic uh, individuals who have a lot of great uh, oratorical skills. However, they have, uh, 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 how can I say this? A bulimic resume. That was a question. Lord Jesus, had there ever been a time? I got a question. Did y'all hear what I just said though? Okay, I just want to make sure y'all heard that. Had there ever been a time where you thought the other was far away from God, like so far that you considered abandoning the relationship? Yes. yes. <laughs> I had to think about yes. Absolutely. 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 Like, have you lost your mind, bro? Yeah. Like, what's going on, sis? Absolutely. absolutely. Oh my God. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean that that, that happens. But but like but this this is the most important thing you must understand about relationships. And we always like to say the the Bible talks about how the two should become one. Yeah. I don't, who be my ring? Who be I should we? Oh, uh, you, you talk. I'll get my ring. Uh, uh, I no, 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 I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get one. Oh I'm, my I'm, God! Did y'all see? He didn't have his I'm ring on. Naked. That that is a sin. Okay, no, but no. Yes, we we we've each experienced that. You know, because I think at. At different times within like relationship, when you feel as if the other is not evolving, but you see yourself progressing in the things of God and you see yourself going. There is many times that we've been on the same page, but not on the same sentence, not on the same word. Uh, and I think that people always, you need to be on the same page. Yeah, you need to be on the same page, but you also need to be on the same sentence, on the same word. Because if you're not, one is always going to be ahead of the other, which means someone is going to be behind. So we found where... You know, like I need to be connected uh, to not just you, but I need to be connected. And whenever God is lacking, whenever the, the, the biblical principles are lacking, you always will have some level of divisiveness. And we've had that because there you go. Uh, we've always we've had that at, at one particular space and place in our marriage, because, again, the enemy is after covenant, y'all. Yes. Y'all, okay. He hates government. And you, and you see it now on social media. You see how absolutely you see how people who were who were in the line like those who we looked up to yeah. and how their marriages are falling apart. Right. Because the, the devil hates covenant. Yeah, but 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 we've we've been there. Yeah. And so, but here's the thing, it's not just going there, it's having the having the 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 ability to overcome that right and, and and that's what we've done so the way you overcome it is is number one what we did is always make god your only authority only. and see the problem with most is that we have so many other options yeah and for us it was only god's word so regardless of what she thought or what i thought mm -hmm. ultimately we got back to what does the word say about yeah. where we at where we at where are we and, sure. and so, and if the word defines or tell us to do something different than what we've been currently thinking or yeah. have an opinion about, yeah. we go with the word. Right. And so the word but has to be on the It has to be, but that's only, you, the, the word only really matters when you reverence the word of God. Right. You know what I mean? When you truly revere the word of God as your only authority, because it too often, I believe what placates marriages and relationships is feelings and emotions. Yeah. My thoughts, my opinions, what I want, what I believe. And at the end of the day, your feelings, your thoughts. I just put a post up there not too long ago and I just, I was like, listen, read your Bible and yes, then sir. apply your Bible. Yes. And then your feelings and your emotions will not overrule your logic. Because what ends up happening is that we, we, but I feel you're not giving me, but you didn't do X, Y, Z. And so then here comes a whole lot of finger pointing. Here comes a whole lot of, I, you didn't give me. And here comes a, but you owe me that. Yeah. But here comes a, you didn't do. You know, so we're pointing fingers and, and, and now we're playing victim to some degree. But, but what did God say about the feelings and the emotions that you were allowing to be spewed out of your mouth? Yeah. What, what exactly did God say concerning it? Because the Bible has an answer for it. Everything. It has an answer for it. But everything. And, and I remember, I was just talking to you the other day as we were kind of just, I mean, we were so uh, elated to have this conversation with you guys. But I was just talking to him about, I can remember sitting there like, no, I, we need to go ahead and just, you know, cut our losses. Go mm -hmm. ahead and just, 
chunk the deuces and go and 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 nothing necessarily black because I ain't trying to ruin you and I don't need you trying to ruin. But let's go ahead and cut our losses because, bro, we not see it eye to eye. Yeah, we got. That. We we're not on the same page. And whether it's divorce, it's like at this point, I just want to make sure that I got some life left because I've been with you for a minute now, bro. <laughs> and what I don't want you to do. Is take the remainder of my good years while we know you we still took me in and and a and, and little bit lifted up. <laughs> right. Right. You know, so having that conversation, and I can remember, okay, let me go ahead and let me check out these divorce attorneys. Yeah. And before I did that, I, I recall, because nobody else was having that 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 conversation with me. But I can remember I like the prodigal son. I came to myself. Yeah. I had a conversation with myself, like, hold up now. And, and here is how you know when it is nothing but the enemy, because I remember praying, okay, God, you're going to have to steer me toward a good a divorce attorney because I done gave him some good years. So how he, I need to make sure I'm going to get something out of this. Do y'all hear how jaded that is? Yeah. Do you have, do you see how vindictive and manipulative that is? Do you see that that is nothing but the devil? God, you tell me how the institution that you put together, the thing that you created from the foundations of the world, you tell me how I can gain from it monetarily. Oh, y'all, yeah, ladies. That's what she said. That's what I was asking him. God, you help me. You bless the thing that I know I'm about to do that's out of order. Yes. And too many believers do that. God bless. Remember David. David David had had, had, had committed adultery with Bathsheba. Talking about don't kill the child that we committed in this illicit affair. Right. God, don't, destroy, don't kill it. Don't destroy it. Why are we praying to God to bless something that we know ain't right? Right. But, that, but and, that's often what we do. Right. And that's what we do. And here I am. I'm praying to God about it. And then in the same breath, I said, but God, if this ain't what you want me to do, you're going to have to deal with my mind. You're going to have to deal with my heart. My impact had nothing to do with him. You are going to have to deal with me. You're going to have to show me how to be wise, how to heal, how to get beyond, how to walk in forgiveness, how to walk in authority and in power and how to pray for my man. Like we never went through nothing. Like he's never ever. And it wasn't that he was necessarily causing me pain as it was that we just weren't in agreement. We weren't on the same page. We weren't on the same page. Yeah. Like, and it, and it happened. And it, so, yeah, it, it yeah. happens. It, 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 it does. It, it happens. And so, and, and you have to get to the point where even when it happens, yeah. God has to be the one to rear, to reel you back in. Uh, we saw another question. I hope they help you, Q. But another question was how do you get past the fear of dating again? How do you get past the fear of dating again? Oh. I, I think what the, the way you get past the fear is where we are tonight. Yeah, and start back dating again. Those That's the one we're going to talk about tonight. But getting beyond that fear to date again. Is 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 I, I think if you still have fear, then you haven't totally healed. There you go. And so if, if you still have reservations or if you're still feeling that out, you know, that anxiety or that fear, then I, I think it's it's best that you sit back a little longer and ask God to heal the areas of your heart and your mind that's causing the reservations or the anxiety. Ho hopefully that helped, Ray. Yeah. Uh, one more course and then we're gonna jump into what we're talking yeah. about, okay. Is uh -huh. this helping anybody? Oh, I hope this is helping you. Uh -huh. Hey, girl. Hi, Alyssa. She said, how do you balance? That's a, I already know where you're going. How do you balance ministry, marriage, children, etc.? And then part B, uh, how do you stay connected as one despite of being busy? It is, I think it's different. It is, it's, it's different. Well, I, I will tell you this. Um, listen to me. Everybody listen to me good. The word balance eradicated from your now. vocabulary. It, balance is extremely elusive and evasive and will never ever be achieved or conquered or ascertained. You'll never have balance. Because in one area of your life, if something is going well here, something over here is going to be lacking. Yeah. This is the reason why it's important that before you now, and, I, and it's, it's, it's a real big challenge for singles Absolutely. and for single parents. Yeah. And the reason why the challenge is because once you once you get married mm -hmm. and now you have already have your yeah. life established in ministry and with your child and your routine, and now you get married, then that brings a whole another challenge. But that's mm -hmm. something we talk about if you when you get married. But but balance is something that we must stop trying to 
obtain because yeah. you can't. Because it's impossible to be successful in any aspect of life and also want balance also. Like, I don't know if you're looking at, listen at, uh, we, we're, uh, one of the reasons why I, I love her, I love her for many reasons, but here's one, and, 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 that, and that is that, that she's an avid football fan, like I am. And so, yeah. so, so she's one of the chicks, when I watch football, I ain't got to sit there and, and pause every, <laughs> every, every play and explain it to her, because yeah. she knows this as well. She knows the players, yeah. she knows the rules. So, so watching football, we know right now Tom Brady is at the, he, he, he's, he's at the, at the conversion in the road where he has to make a decision if he's going to continue to play or if he's going to retire. Right. And so now the reason why he's contemplating retirement is that now he has a son that's 14, another son that's uh, 13, 12, and a, a daughter that's nine. And he's missed half of their life, mostly all of their life. And so now he's contemplating, but he's the best to ever do it in football. Now, in order for him to be the best at what he does, some part of his life has to be neglected, not intentionally. Yeah. But his family has to understand that this is what I'm called to do and chosen to do as well as this is our means for providing for the family. Right. And so he has to choose if I'm going to be the best at this, something else in my personal life is going to have to, is going to, have to go without. Yeah. And so to think that balance is achievable yeah. is, is, is somewhat impossible. Yeah. Even Jesus. Jesus' family wanted to have an audience with him, but he says, let me deal with my real family, which is the people I'm around. So even Jesus didn't have a great relationship with his family. Yeah. Because in order for you to fulfill purpose and destiny, it's hard to achieve that with this so-called, this word called balance. Right, right. Because in some phase, if you're going to be the greatest at what you do, then the people in your life are, they, they, they must understand the sacrifices because this is the word. So, so in, other, in other words, instead of saying, trying to seek balance, let's see if we can omit that word and insert the word sacrifice. Because Jesus shows us that in order for something to be great, sacrifice is important. And so Jesus sacrificed all that he had from the father in order to be what he needed for his bride. But at the same time, with him being all that he needed for the church, he sacrificed all that he was with his father in heaven. And so success sometimes requires more sacrifice than it does balance. Because most people are not going to ever experience or achieve or ascertain balance but you can be successful if you insert sacrifice. I agree. I totally Go ahead. agree. And, Go ahead. I, and just to add to that, I was trying to see what Jimmy was talking about too. He said Mimi's in her bag. I didn't know what that meant. But uh, I, I, I want to add to what you said, and babe. I totally agree. I totally agree. But but because I am a woman in ministry and marriage and motherhood, I, I, I truly believe that what God did for me, He gave me clarity on three things. Uh, three things: purpose people and permission yeah purpose people and permission which allowed me to i ain't got time to be worried about <laughs> you know what i mean like when you're dating and when you're just kind of haphazardly going about things man you are you're concerned about the things of god or it should be yes but when you get married numero uno has to be purpose yes because if you're not operating in purpose as a covenant or in relationship i'm trying to tell you you make that spouse or that individual you're dating responsible for your happiness yes. you make that person responsible for hey you know fulfill some things for me and so now it becomes that you're pulling on them or they're pulling on you when you are not functioning in purpose the way you need to. Purpose keeps me pushing, boo. Yes. Purpose keeps his, his itinerary full. Okay, so, but because we're talking about balance, I don't believe that there's a such thing as that is called balance as I believe it's called prioritizing. Where he's saying sacrifice, I'm saying prioritize this thing because parenting for him because I'm mom mom gonna be all in at something where dad makes it optional yeah, don't yeah. make him a bad father yeah. it just makes him more principled toward the things 
A provision. A provision. I got you. I got you, boy. I, I promise you I know. So it's not as though he is, I'm just going to haphazardly walk through life. No, I'm over here thinking about how I can provide. Now, granted, we both over here making money. Yeah. But here is, the, here is how, again, purpose becomes numero uno. Because I can't be over here unfulfilled being a housewife and knowing this ain't what God called me to do. <laughs> and I'm making your life miserable with you walking in purpose because you're fulfilled, you're excited, you're, you know, you're enthralled in what you're doing. But I'm like, man, life leaving me behind. Here I am. So now I'm pulling you out of what you're supposed to be doing yeah. in purpose. But then the next thing becomes to be on purpose, people. You got to prioritize people in your life. When you were single, it was friends. We could go out and we could, you know, have a good old time and stay out all night long. But now the people in your life take a, you know, take a different stance. The people who used to be every weekend folk become like maybe once a year. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the individuals who take up the majority of your time, you got to make sure you're investing time in them. And then the last I give you is permission. What are you giving yourself permission to do beyond it feeling like it's always work or it's always labor? I give myself permission to take time to me. What does that look like? Sometimes it's just simply just laying back doing absolutely nothing. nothing. So I don't necessarily believe in balance as I believe in prioritizing, which back to his point, making making sacrificial efforts, but purpose has to be at, at, at the beginning. It has to be at the forefront. Yeah, yeah. I think purpose is is, is that, that that's the catalyst for everything. Well, I got time. I'd be yeah. like, I wish we just said we we be too sleepy after you after you after you've been in purpose and you the church and you you know you you answer phone calls and you minister to people. You be exhausted. So then you have to tell yourself, oh, but you gonna get it. Then. You know what I mean? Yeah. After you the Said you're gonna get it, you probably don't went to sleep. You're gonna sleep, you're gonna sleep. <laughs> so, 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 Another question. I hope that answers your question. Do you believe that correct Christ Christians, Christians should join dating sites like eHarmony, Christian Mingle, etc.? I, I, I don't I don't I don't think that's a problem. I, I, I don't think it's a problem, but but I also I also think that you, you don't should, have to unpack that. I, 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 I think you should also be open. To whatever fish you catch. What it, that mean? What, what I'm saying is that if, if you if, like, if you go in, like for a fisherman, if you're trying to catch catfish, there's certain places you go. If you're trying to catch redfish, there's certain places you Come go. Come on with the fish analogy. And, and, and so I'm saying to you, but if you're gonna fish in a just just in a in an open pond, you got to be you have to be open to what you catch. Yeah. And so what I'm saying is that it's okay. To date, um, put yourself out there on those sites, but you have to also be careful that there are a lot of predators, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of people who are there are a lot of people who are you know um, disguise themselves as something that they're not, right. and although they ask you all of these questions, still people lie in you know in it, mm -hmm. and then you don't really don't know a person until you spend time with them. So I'm saying that's really good. I mean, it's okay with doing that. But I'm saying just be open for the fish that you catch and just realizing that you can't always go in, go off a person's profile because sometimes they have a great profile, but their character is foul. Ooh. And so you have to be OK. So, so you have to be willing to work through all of that. Oh. And then if I'm willing to put myself out there in, in that more in, in that regard. Now, if you're single and you're a woman of God and man of God, and you're trying to find somebody else. What 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 it what will work for you most is do some, start getting out. Yeah, I, you know what what blows me away is that people often are like, I want to be married, I want to date, but you at home all the time. You don't go nowhere. You behind a computer all the time. Like you do nothing with your life. Like where are you gonna find them at? They not gonna jump through the television. They're not going to just tiptoe out of the computer. Yeah, and so and, you know and, what and, I mean? so if you're single, I, you you should have a an an exploratory you life. Hear me? Like like travel, Baby, enjoy your like like minutes. go go like I know some people say it's crazy to go to dinner, but it's not. It's not. I, I mean, it's go because somebody may see you there. I mean, look, look now. Let me say something that's going to be controversial with, with the Christian. Go to a go to a, a, a restaurant, sit at the bar, yeah. and eat. Don't, don't always get a table. Yeah. Sit at the bar. Sit at the bar. Don't mean you're drinking. You, you can have your water, your coke. It gives you an advantage or an an, an uh, uh, what a, a, a higher point of view. Yeah, right? it, it does. So, <laughs> so I mean, because 
everybody who come in the first the first yeah. place at the door when you walk in I'm the first place you see eye. you see the bar yeah. you see the bar and then if somebody sees this single fine sexy cute woman yeah. at the bar by herself light skin with the blonde yeah, yeah. So, so somebody may look across <laughs> and say oh she's i know she's by herself yeah. And she's no one is with her, so they may. So somebody, some guy may say, "Hey, listen, pay for her food for me." And then she, and the, and the bartender come back and say, "Hey, you know what? Someone pay for your tab." Yeah. You're like, "Really? Who? That guy over there?" You look over there. Oh, he's fine too. Right. And th and then you give yourself an opportunity to meet someone else and the opportunity to, to talk right. and get to know people. But make yourself available, not vulnerable. That, excellent. Word, well, that's good. Is good? Okay. Ooh, that was good. Make yourself available. Put that in the comment, <laughs> no, I mean that. Make yourself available in, in enticing to a degree, but not overtly sexual. Because I think that, that that becomes like, oh, I'm ready. I'm single, ready to mingle. And then you put yourself out there. And then when they, they take you for the bait that you put out there, then you got a whole issue. No, make yourself available where you are. And I know this is, we so we so say, but here is Ruth. Ruth made herself available. Let me put myself in your path. So whether you notice me or not, I'm still handling my business. I'm still enjoying myself. So put yourself in their path. Men are so, I don't, I'm not saying this as a dig, men are so very easy, so very simple, To so simple that it almost kind of scares us. We're like, yeah. you don't want more? No, they don't. It's, just, it's simple for them. Put yourself out there. They, they love to be attracted to what they're going after. Yeah. You can't go sit at the, bar, at the bar with a bonnet on your head and your lips all turned up. Or you looking at people like, what he want? Well, why, why are you sitting over there? Why are you over there? You understand? But but when I say be available but not vulnerable, don't be easy. Right. Don't be easy. Don't make yourself like okay. So the first thing that comes through the door, I'm hopping on it. No. What? It, enjoy the, the the chase. Enjoy the intrigue of the of, of the of the flirting. Enjoy, baby. Flip your hair. To, listen. What's <laughs> <laughs> laugh for no reason Absolutely. <laughs> I mean like but but show at the end of the day that I'm here I want to have conversation with you but sex ain't what's on my mind even if it is what's on your mind right. y'all better hear me tonight so I'm saying that whenever it's nothing wrong with the site but it is something wrong with if you are not strong enough to handle what may come your way and then I'll tell you to be strong enough because sometimes if you believe it was done in private, I can do things in private. And then here you got a little sneaky, sneaky, freaky, deaky that got you into a whole lot of trouble. And now again, you have to deal with what you're out, you put yourself out there at. Yes. So again, and don't be out here lying. Oh my God, don't yeah, let, yeah, me, yeah. let me get out there talking. Yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna be able to talk. Uh, so, so, so look, can, can, can we jump into. <laughs> what, what, what we going to talk about? Maybe tonight? the first night was supposed to be a question and answer. I don't know. No, let, let's talk about what we're okay, going to talk about. Let's go. Let's and and, and uh, Eureka, can you hold that question to the end? All right. So, this is what we're going to talk about tonight, and, and we want you guys to get it. Uh, all right. So, we're going to talk about this tonight, and that is, it is we, we, we didn't talk, now we're both frustrated. Yeah, Lord. We, we didn't talk, and now we're both frustrated. Now, this is for those who are currently married. But 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 here, here's the caveat for those who are currently married. Hey guys, we got 57 y'all. Can y'all like this video and share it? Please go ahead and share it. We, we need to get these numbers up. This is our first time back on in a while. And so we, we have to recapture our audience. So help us recapture our audience by sharing it in your groups and all of that. And so let's get these numbers up. Listen, so we're gonna talk about we we didn't talk. Now we're both frustrated. Now yeah. why, why is this important? Because even while you're married, you still need to have ongoing talk. And it's just like, just like if, for those of you who got a car, a nice car, in order for that car to last, in order for that car to last and to drive well and for it to last a long time, there has to be constant maintenance. I agree. And I think that once people get married, the maintenance stops. And, and, and I think that that's what hurt a lot of marriage. And yeah. I think that's why marriages fail as they get older or, they, or as, as they grow in years I is agree. that is that people don't provide maintenance for it. And so the motor and the other things, the gas that causes it to flow, you know, it, it, it's just not maintenance properly. Right. And singles, I think that single people don't ask or don't talk about the requisite things that will be necessary for the success 
of a dating relationship, yeah. an engaged relationship, and a future marriage. Because I, I think sometimes as singles and married couples, you're just so excited and so enamored to yeah, have someone true. that sometimes you don't even be concerned about asking the proper question. I agree. It, it's, it's, uh, let me say this and then let you go. It, it's like for the person who, who, who probably have a, who have a lower credit score, who goes to look for a car or a house, and once you approve, you don't ask the most important questions because you just feel like I'm just privileged to have a car. Yeah. But but you don't ask about the interest rate. Right. Or you don't you don't care yes. about you don't care right. about where the house is that relates to school system or school districts. You 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 you're not looking at how much equity is in the house, how much yeah. the 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 community that I live in, how it brings down the value yeah. property. Value. You don't ask that. Yeah. You're just excited yeah. to have a house, even though it's it's drug infested houses all around. Right. But you don't care about that because you're so excited to just have a house yeah. that you don't want to ask no question that will right. prevent you from even moving into the house. Right. And I think in relationships, sometimes people don't want to ask the real questions. Yeah. Because the real questions may make them have to decide this relationship is not for me. But in order to just have a relationship, you just don't ask any questions until it's too late. I agree. I totally agree. I, and I, I, so I don't even want to give my little point because I was going to say that sometimes people overshare. But yeah. we'll, we'll deal with it on the end, right? Yeah, Let's yeah, right. On the end because I think that before... Uh, you overshare, you have to definitely get clarity. And I love the fact that you said that you, you're you so thrilled about having something that you completely let your standards go out of the window. Right. You completely, you know, allow for what you really wanted to elude you because now I'm just having, you know, these little trivial questions or little conversations with you, what to pretend silly. Yes, right. To pretend vulnerable. You know what I mean? Like to pretend like, oh, that was that was cute and you know it wasn't. Right. And then here we go, we're two, three, four, or five years in and you know that that's really not what you like anyway. But you never actually put it out there from the very beginning. And this is one thing that I've learned. Uh I think that we both have learned that, yeah. you know, within marriage and within relationship, um most people want the truth. Watch me. They want the truth. The question then is, can they handle the truth? You want the truth? <laughs> you can't handle the truth. Y'all remember that? I know you were going to do that. I know. I know. I knew you, I knew you were going to do that. I had to. <laughs> but I'm saying, but I, I think that people say, I want the truth. Ask me the tough questions, but then are you really prepared for the hard answer? Uh, case in point. Someone asks you, I don't want to go there. Okay, so what is it you like about me? You give them the things that you like, but you never address what you really don't like. That's good. Okay, I want to flip that because you 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 give them what you like, but you know that what you dislike is a deal breaker. Yes. And that's the thing that you probably did not confront. I promise you, we're coming back to oversharing. That's probably the thing that you did not address. And it's the thing that you should have addressed in order to see if there were going to be modifications. Right. So, but we want to get into like, you definitely have to make sure you're having these conversations. And to those of you that are married and you hadn't had these conversations, get ready. Because I believe that these are some of the things that are the biggest culprits for divorce yes. that lead to divorce and infidelity and and being miserable within your you know your covenant. Right. So 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 here, here here's here's some of the questions that you must ask. The first question you must talk about okay for remember we're talking about frustration. So let, let, let us define frustration. Here it is we wrote a definition frustration is a feeling of dissatisfaction open we say often accompanied by anxiety or depression resulting from an unfulfilled needs or, or unresolved, unresolved problems. problems yeah. And this is where a lot of people find themselves in relationships, marriages, they find themselves frustrated relationships. So what what are some of the things that you must talk about? Number one, if you and, and, and remember when we talk about things, we're talking about it from a a Christian worldview. Yeah. A biblical worldview. Biblical. So what people do in the world, what 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 they talk about at the red table, what they talk about, you know what I'm saying? Uh what anybody else talk about outside of God. We don't ascribe to that. We only ascribe to biblical 
principles and doctrine as it relates to marriage, whatever we talk about Absolutely. relationship. So the first conversation should be talked about is belief system. Absolutely. If you are a believer, yeah. what do you believe? And people of God, I know some people have some skepticisms and people say, well, there's a lot of people in the church you meet that ain't gonna no good. That's true and fine. We didn't say just because you meet them in church. We said those who, look, look what the Bible says. Don't be unequally yoked with unbelief. Yeah. Boo, you out here with a whole Muslim. You out here with a whole, you know. The, the, you out here with, with, with a black, <laughs> you out here with a black Israelite. You know what I mean. They, they he are, fine. Yeah. He, he, Boo, I'm talking about the eyes. I'm talking about stuck or grubber. But he crazy. <laughs> but, and, and he black Israelite. All he oh. want to do is, is, is he has his own thing. Help the house. And, and so you, 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 you must not, as a believer, yeah. compromise. You, you must not compromise just to have somebody. Absolutely. If you have a standard and your standard is biblical, yeah. then you must not compromise that. So your belief, you have to talk about your beliefs. Absolutely. If this is somebody that you think can be a potential uh, spouse, what do you believe? Right. Because I think that people believe that equally yoke is, oh, we both making money. Right. Oh, we both come from the same background. Oh, we both, you know what I mean? It, it has absolutely nothing to do with those types of similarities. So as you're referring to 2 Corinthians, be ye not equally yoked together with unbelievers. We ain't believe in the same thing. We don't believe in the same heaven, the same hell. We don't believe, you know, in, in, in the Trinity. We don't believe, meaning, so if, if, if like the, the first thing we stated earlier, if God is going to be the only authority, yeah. boo, you over here bringing in, you know, Buddha, you over here talking about something, you praying to a God that, that you got to feed. Your ancestors. You are, oh, you big. I ain't going to go there. Yeah, you. But, but I'm yeah, saying, you, you praying pray, you pray your ancestors. You, you praying to you, the, you, you like sages and yeah, so. I mean, but I, I don't believe in that. So, come on. So I'm saying, so you, you, you cannot compromise yeah. your beliefs for a body. Right. And, and, and I'll oh, go ahead. I want to no, no, because I was saying like, cause I think some people be, you know, they talk about like, but, but he's a believer, but she's a believer. Where's the fruit? And they don't go to church. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That, like I, your belief, your belief system has to have fruit. It has to have some indication. It has to have a resume, a track record of where you've been and who you believe in, who you're praying to, what, you know what I mean? Like what principles do you have? And do you have an answer for my, for us as a family? Yes. So belief is at the end of the day, like I need to know that we are on this. I keep telling y'all, it's not just about being on the same page, but it is about being on the same sentence and the same word. Because if we're talking about belief, yes. uh, if, if, if I'm going to say I'm over here trusting God to believe for my family as it relates to tithing. Yes. I, All of that. Bro, let me tell you, you're the only one working. But what we're not going to do is we're not going to withhold. And he's saying, oh, but I'm the provider. We're going to do what well, we don't believe the same. We, we, we don't believe the same. So and, and you can't compromise Ooh. that. Like, like, like if, if you if you are a believer and you believe in tithes and offerings and you meet somebody and you dating them and they say, I don't believe in giving the church my money. You are, you already have you, you don't God don't have to give you you don't have to do the Gideon thing where you ask God that you don't have to fleece God yeah you don't have to fleece God to say in the book of get in Genesis we said Judges chapter six Gideon said God if you calling me show it that it's me when I go outside I'm gonna lay this fleece down let it be wet all around the fleece but let the yeah. fleece be dry. He woke up the next morning, the fleece was dry, everything wet. How many signs more? And then he said, okay, God, that's good, but give me another sign. Yeah. This time, let the fleece be wet and everything around it dry. God did that. So all I'm saying is that sometimes we, we have to stop looking for signs when they are there. And so if, if you talking to somebody and you dating them and they say, I don't believe in tithes. I don't think you have to go to church to be saved. And, and, and if you believe that, then you don't don't get into that relationship right, right. because it's going to cause you frustration in the end. It is. Or they're telling you what you want to hear so they can get what they want. Yes. Y'all didn't hear that. They're telling you what you want to hear. Oh, I'm 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 gonna you know massage you your ego. Fruit. Right. You look. But again, if you're if you're a fruit inspector, you're looking for. Hold up. But the Bible says. 
The, but but first of all, we what we're not going to be is out here fornicating. Yes. Right. Or you hear you have the individual. Let me move on off of that. And some people are like, well, that ain't got nothing to do. I'm gonna leave yeah. that alone. But you have the individual that is stating to you, you know, you're saying I'm going to church. They're like, I don't believe you have to go to church. You, anything that causes you back to what baby said to compromise what you know has been the thing that has kept you, the thing that has sustained you, the thing that has given you answer. We're to, we don't believe the same. I'm telling you, I'm believing for healing. You telling me, well, we need to go ahead. I ain't saying that there's anything wrong with doctors, but what I am saying is that if, if, if you don't have an answer for me, that is biblical. I ain't saying you got to be a preacher that you got to know every, every Bible verse, every, you know, line upon line, precept upon precept. That's not what I'm saying. But I don't need you to pull me back from where I've been. Or if I hadn't gone there, I need to know that you can push me to where I need to go. That's what I need to know. That's what I need. And, 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 and that's so vital. So when it said, be not, un be not ye unequally yoked yeah. together with unbelievers. <laughs> that's well, the well, King version. Because, yeah, yeah. because a lot of people in church don't believe. Right. So we're not saying just because they go to church, they're believers. Because belief, the only thing is hypocrites, be, be, because belief, what? belief, according to Paul, Paul says, um, pa Paul says that faith without works yeah. is dead. Like she's saying, so if I have belief, then I also have fruit. Mm -hmm. and, and so just because I go to church does not mean I have fruit. Yeah. So you need to be looking for fruit in people's lives. If you say you believe it, I need to see this in your life. Yeah. I need to see your walk with God apart from me. Before we get together to see if what you're doing is authentic, is authentic. And, and 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 people, let me tell you something. And I don't know if y'all know this, and I'm so glad I'm married. I'm, I'm so glad I'm, I'm, I've been out the game for so long. I am. But, <laughs> hey, I, I wouldn't know I, what I to mean, do. So, so, I don't even know how to so, act like I want something. So let me say this. So 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 I so I sympathize oh, with you singles nowadays. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. I, I mean, because I know it's difficult with social media. But but one thing about social media is that. Social media can really give you a, an interview of a person now before that, you on. even get in something now deep. Now that right them. there, because if you look at if you look at their pages, people going most they likely their, their, their character spews out it does. in their posting. Now that I agree. And so, and if you want to know what a person is like, I mean, <laughs> she says it's rough. I mean, I, I mean, you 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 just look at it. Go, go down their page. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if they're telling all their business, you don't want to deal with them because as soon as y'all have a problem, they're going to take all their business to social media and they're going to talk about you on social yes, media. Sir. And let me tell y'all this before. Yep. What, 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 ah. while I'm here, let me tell y'all this right here. If you dated somebody or you have been married to someone and that person had a struggle while you were married with them or you were dating with them, don't you think it's God that you will be compensated yeah of telling their private struggle to the public just and God does not give you a ministry to 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 expose somebody because when you read the Bible every person that tried to expose somebody God ended up exposing them so if I'm married to her and she if, 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 if she's married to me and if we if we divorce I would not take what she's done privately to put it to put it out there public to make money off of it. On, that is not of God at all. She said, what I used to blast. Because yeah. the person who does that, eventually God snatches the cover yeah. off of you. Because love covers yeah. a multitude of sins, not revealing. Yeah. So, so if you're dating, so it's single people right now, if you're single, stop putting all of your issues on social media. If you're having a bad day, keep that to yourself. If somebody made you mad, keep that to yourself. If your boss is at work, got keep that to yourself. If you did business with a black person and they didn't do well, keep that to yourself. If somebody hurt your heart, keep that all keep all of that to yourself. The only thing that should be on your timeline, if you are a believer, listen to me. Oh, no. If you are a believer, your page your should resume, be evangelistic. And it should be your resume. It's your resume. So when somebody sees your page, they say, she's a very wise woman. Mm -hmm. He's a wise man. He never shares his feelings publicly. Mm -hmm. I can trust him. Mm -hmm. Because if you share all your feelings, everything right. you feel um, publicly, 
you are unstable. Right. And when a man sees that, right. he runs. Yeah. Because well, he knows that oh, no, I'm, I'm just I saying, uh, yeah. But we, we have most of it. But if a woman sees that, she runs because here's the reason why. Because what it says is that if we ever have problems in our relationship, yeah. you're gonna share all of your feelings right. publicly. Right. And let me add to this, it's so much. Jesus, you said so much. That was good, man. Uh, uh, another thing, too, if you're always naked, I wish you heard that. If you always naked on your, you know, on your 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 feet. And taking your pictures. And like taking this. your what you say, looking back. Look, at. Looking at your booty like this. <laughs> You, you, you know, you know y'all, y'all Christian women. The Christian women be looking back at it. How they do it? Y'all take your, yeah. y'all take your picture. We're looking at your booty like this. Trying to see what it's smoking out. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> I'm just joking. That's how I, <laughs> I can't believe you said that twice. <laughs> no, but if you literally, honestly, that tr- that too sends a message. Lord Jesus. But I want to say also, Lord, I, I got so much that's running through my head right now. But I, but I want you to understand your page really does become your resume. But I want you guys to also be aware that what you're putting out there on social media, that does become, but even if it's not your resume, it becomes your interview. Yes. It becomes your unspoken interview. So now you have people without you ever having spoken a word to them personally have already uh, gauged or already yes. had an answer for oh well you know that ain't even who I'm trying to vibe with yes. or that's not even and they you could have very well they could have come onto your page at a point in your life when you were hurting at a point in your life when it was the yes. worst at a point in your life so I'm telling you you have to be wise about what you share and back to what I said earlier don't overshare because you can overshare and honestly and it finds you in a place where you you sad about it. yes you sad about it. So as we're as we're talking about being equally yoked with individuals, you have to make sure uh, again, I have to get back to this point Boo, about making sure it's someone that can not just you push them, but they be one that pushes you. Yes. They push you oftentimes because we do have majority women, baby, we will overcompensate for a need in a heartbeat. In a minute. We will overcompensate. Well, you know, you know, he got a, you know, he got a good job, but he his I'm gonna just deal with the attitude. No, right. because after a while he's gonna bust you upside your head. Yeah. And because you have not dealt with that, because he's not dealing with anger, because he's not slow to anger, that now becomes an issue. No, hold up. Our belief system is off because I believe that you you put your spouse first. You believe you put your family first. We'll get into that. But that's a whole other issue. What does the Bible say about it? If the Bible is not his authority, I can't stress this enough, that if he pulls you away from what you are going toward, or she. Or she pulls you away. They become a detractor or a distraction, a distraction. That's a whole problem you have on your hands. Yes. And I am just afraid that, babe, in this day and in this age, that we lower our standards way too often. We do. We, we, we do. And, and I, 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 think, I think. We lo- What? Because he I, fine? I, I, what? Because she a brick house? I think it's. Boo, them wolves going to start sagging. Their booty going to get dimples in it. I'm telling you that, that, that <laughs> y'all ain't listening. Gonna that booty going to get dimples. Was in it. That six pack gonna become a keg. That bo- that that head full of hair gonna become ball. I'm telling you, I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying things change. And what do you have that is substantive that is going to keep you if you don't believe? Absolutely, I I, I think it's, it's crucial. If it's, you don't believe, it, I'm not talking because it's time. Oh Lord, I bet that's it. It excites because I know that there's been times that I didn't believe and you did, and there's been times that you didn't believe and I did, and it was your belief and your strength and your power in it that continued to pull me, and vice versa. But what do you have when you don't have the belief? When you don't have the belief, it's it's, it's rough, and, 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 and so and so your social media, it, it, it's show, the it, 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 show, it shows all that. Hey, listen, can, can we can we get this to a hundred? A hundred likes a night. So if you have not liked, we need 23 people who on here who have not liked it to like it. Come on. Come on and share this video. This is our first night in. I'm loving uh, it. It's our first night in. Are y'all loving it? I'm loving it. And so, and we're not going to miss no Thursdays. Y'all see, uh-huh. y'all playing because it is the Buddha dimples. Yeah. Y'all playing because what you used to have at the same. And again, we don't believe. Remember, it was Moses. Back in the day, they, it had to be a biblical decree because Moses, I mean, they was out here trying to divorce people for whatever reason. I mean, it wasn't a, look, she don't cook the grits right. 
Divorce. Yeah. Baby, she over here, she got a bad attitude. Divorce. She don't take care of the kids. Divorce. So there had to be a decree that was written so that the divorce wouldn't be the first thing that you thought about. I'm telling you, there are reasons why you have to have a belief system in God. Because when the rubber meets the road, because it ain't always going to be peaches and cream and strawberries yeah. and, and ice cream. It ain't going to always be lullabies and cupcakes. It is not always going to be. Sometimes y'all don't want to kill each other. Sometimes we're going to. That ain't how to get away with murder. I know how to get away with yes. murder. I'm trying to tell you. But what is the thing that is pulling you back toward each other and, and making sure that I'm pleasing God? Snoring is of the devil. But if you don't believe, y'all quiet. <laughs> It is of the devil. But if you don't believe, that's it. That, that's it. And I'm I, telling I, you. It, it's crucial. It's crucial. So you must talk about beliefs. Where you stand. I'm Baptist. And, and, and especially, was, especially those of you. Who, that. Especially those of who I'm have Baptist. a who have a calling on your life. Oh, now you talk. If you have a call, if, if you if, if if you call to ministry, if you call to preach, if you call well, a prophetess, if you, you better make sure. That you talk about this with the person that you're dating, because I got a call on my life. If if they don't understand that, but you a weak man. Uh, if if they don't understand, I'm telling you what's going to happen. Call I'm telling you what's going to happen. Ultimately, let me tell y'all this: purpose will make you leave a person quickly. And there are a lot of people, and there there are some people who are, who is married right now. Matt. Who once you discover your purpose, you realize this person don't match my purpose. And that's why some people, after they gain their purpose, they leave people. Right. Because nothing in life is more powerful than purpose. Right. Because purpose makes you make a decision. They be a message. Come on, the last go fan. Baby, it's because of the belief that I done say. <laughs> uh, 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 no. Oh, really? Did you want to make fun of me? It's because of the belief. Uh, but no, but talk about that, babe. Because it has been that you have some individuals that. I'm all in to God. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm. I'm sold to God. And I, I'm but sold to God, believe. but but you're not. And, and so what happens is, is is that once you discover that you that that the person that you're with it does not match your purpose, it doesn't. you will make a decision yeah. to walk away. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna break generational curses. I'm, I'm gonna. You do. would not be a provider. I'm over here. I want to pursue after the things of God. I'm a female that want that that knows that God has called me to preach and to minister, to lay hands and to prophesy, to see signs, miracles, and wonders. But you over here believing that, oh, the Bible say women can't wait. Wait a minute. Yes, yes. We ain't believe in the we're same. Not the we're women. not the same. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and it is. If you date someone who don't understand purpose, it's very frustrating. So these things must be talked about. We 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 can spend that all day. I know day. we'll be there all so, day. So so let, let's talk about the next thing you must talk about. If you got questions, write your questions down. Save them to the end. We'd love to have dig finances. Oh Lord, you you if we we, did, we didn't talk about money, and now I'm frustrated because now that we're married, our money situation is. Crazy. Boy, you got bad credit, and you want me to get everything under my name. Debt. <laughs> Credit and people. Let me tell y'all something. Let, let me tell you this, and and I'm not hating on nobody. Nobody. But women, listen to me. You you have to be careful about men who come with a lot of baggage, and I I, I don't want I, just let me just let me go that. But I'm saying to, to women and men, their credit, their debt ratio, all their DTO debt, all that stuff. The DTI, all that stuff has some significance when you marry them. And, and, and so um, some, somebody, what, what's the question right there? Should you marry? No, no, it, it's not about salary. It, it, it's, it's, not, yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not about salary because you can marry someone, a well, man, was you, right there, you can marry someone who makes less than you, yeah. but they provide stuff that you don't provide. Yeah. And so, and, and women hear me good and hear me good. Just because you may make more money than he does, does not mean he's still not the head and the man of your home. Now you better dig in there. Now, if you think just because you make more money, you're the breadwinner and that you're the and that you run the household, then you're not going to do well as a as a wife. 
Because I don't care if you work at a Fortune 500 company yeah. and your husband works at Kroger or at a grocery store and he makes $10 an hour. If he's a man of God and he understands purpose and, and leadership and being the head of the house, it does not matter who makes the most money. Yeah. According to God's plan, he's still the head of your yeah. house and he's still the leader of your home. And if you let your bag make you disrespect your man, yeah. then you're not worthy to be a woman in the first place, a wife in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and so we must understand, but you must talk about financing. Yeah. Who's going to handle the finances? Yeah. Like for instance, in our marriage, um, I would say in our household, because I'm the man, I'm the C CEO of our house. I would say she's the COO. She's the chief operating officer. I'm the CFO. I'm the chief financial officer. Let me take, can I, can I Go just ahead. insert this little plug right here? He makes my life so stressless. Yes. I really do mean that. He, I, I'm so grateful for that. I just, had to, I just had to say that because he makes my life so stressless. I don't have to worry about all of that. And, 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 and I don't know if you've ever shared with them about like how it was in the beginning that even when, oh, that might open up something else, but I'm like, mm -hmm. how I would give you, you know, like, hey, let's put this check into the account. But you show that you did right by the money and us. Yes. And yeah. that led me to believe that you would always make the best decision for us as a family. Yes. Right? Yes. You know, I just I just had to put yeah, that out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I, I think well, my, my thing is this is that if you trust me yeah. with with our finances, then as a man, I will feel less than a man if I put us in a position to where I could not provide. I agree. And, and so you've always trusted me to do that, but also let them know that there are no secrets. Yeah. So she has all of the online banking. I, so she has access to everything. There ain't no passwords that I so don't know. There, Let, let's so, be very. And, Somebody uh, type in the comments in all caps, V-E-R-Y. Very clear. Yeah, but 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 when we talk about finance, we have to also talk about there are no private bank accounts. I agree. People, let, let me tell y'all. No private speaking. No, no privacy. Let, let me tell y'all this. Let, let, let me tell y'all this. And y'all and y'all listen to me. I know, I know this may You're be. You're about to be I, I, I know this may be. We about to lose. I know this, may, this, this might be contrary to secular thought, but you should not have separate bank accounts. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all something. Now, you're talking to the marriage. I'm talking to the marriage. Oh, okay. Now, if you're single, you shouldn't have no bank account with the body anyway. There we go. Listen, if you're single, listen to me. Stop acting like If you're single, women, men, listen to me. I, I know this is unpopular. I know this is unpopular, but, but you got to listen to me. If you're single, you should not be creating memories with somebody who's not your spouse. You're not taking vacations. You're not going, you, 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 you can't take a My 15 out, of out the country vacation. Stay. You can't do that with people who are not. Don't create memories with people who are not your spouse, because once you get married and you begin to share these things with your spouse, it, it causes trouble. And then you also set yourself up for heartache later because you're sharing moments that should only be led left for a spouse. Right. And when this relationship don't work, you create all these memories. And now when you get married. You're going to be so bitter, you don't even want to do those things with your husband or you your wife. You act like a wife. You act like a husband. And you hadn't even gotten that status. And now you're mad because there's distance now. Yes. It ultimately becomes an issue. Yes. I cannot, we cannot stress enough. And again, I am not against anybody who is dating. I have no problem, no qualms with that. But I'm telling you that when you date and you act like you already got it before you got it, yes, it, it, it's, it, it's, and you made it's, it's gonna hurt you in the end, right? Because you have made a most people make some level of an emotional investment, but when you make an emotional invest, investment along with a financial one, boy, you'll be upset. You, you you will. You you have a whole lot of feelings and emotions behind. Oh no, he ain't. No, she didn't. Yes, they did. Because again, you have to make sure that it back to beliefs. It does not pull you away 
from what you know you should be doing. Boy, it ain't no vacation that we going on that we done sat here and spent all these thousands of dollars that we ain't fornicating on. Yeah, that, that, you see that, what I'm saying? That, that, like that, you that, said, that, there is no way you you gonna you gonna go to Mexico. And I'm gonna live say I'm down here in Mexico. I'm Mexico with, 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 with you you got you with got a La a, you got a bikini on. <laughs> Y'all drinking uh um, them little sex, drinks with the sex, sex on, on the, the beach. <laughs> And you mean to tell me, and you mean to tell me y'all going to do this and then go to separate rooms for the night and pray? No, y'all going to pray on each other. (laughs) And and, and so you're not going to pray. You won't pray for each other. You're going to pray on each other. And so I'm saying to you that that, that you can't, because here's the most important part. As, As believers, as Christians, you can't be in a relationship dating where God wants you to minister to someone. But you put yourself in a position where you have to now administer to someone. There you go. And, and sometimes what we are called to minister to, we morph into administering to. Ooh. So in other words, God called you to this person to minister to them, but you want to administer to them. And so and, and, and so this is the reason why you don't create these, you, you don't create these moments of memories with people who are not your spouse. Because it's going to cause pain to you right. and that person. And if it does not work, you're not going to be bitter and upset. So when you finally get married, that's going to be something that you have to get healed from or you may not even want to do because of the pain that was occurred from the other relationship. So let me ask you this, right? Because we're talking about finances. Should I be asking, oh boy, what his credit score look like? Absolutely. Should I be asking him, is he paying child support? Uh, Should I be yes. asking him? No, yeah, yeah, see, no, y'all no, don't no, 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 because no, see, y'all people, don't understand how people, that impacts you too. Lady, let me tell you something now. And I don't, I'm not hating on no brothers. Because I love my guys. <laughs> and this, this 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 was my desire because see, I, I grew up and I unfortunately I had older brothers who had made mistakes prior to me. Yeah. I had a father, I had uncles who had made mistakes, friends who had made mistakes prior to me. So I realized once they got married, there was a struggle in their home and they were limited by what they could do as a family because they were perhaps paying child support to multiple people outside of their homes. And so what I decided was, I only want to have children with the woman that I spend the rest of my life with. And thankful to God, I do that. She's the only. I don't have it. I don't have no illicit children. I, I don't think so. I will see. I was about to hallelujah. You just killed it. Just, just hallelujah. <laughs> you still hallelujah because I don't. I don't think I have none out there. Nobody said that. If, if it if it is, it, it'll be y'all about to see a murder on live television. Y'all about I do, to see, it, 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 and I'm gonna get away with it because I'm going oh. If it was, it, it, praise, praise. <laughs> pray. the, ch- the child will be thirty years old. That's all I'm saying. Oh y'all better pray, Jesus. So so also all I'm saying is, so all I'm saying is that so what I'm saying we've been together thirty years. I'm saying if they are, if I have they want they, they come they want to drive they got driver license they got and everything. And so and so what I'm saying is that it is is that now that you get married and you mm-hmm. on child support, so now what happens is you marry and you make good money, but once you get married, your money also now is his money. Yeah. And a portion of your money is leaving your home to go to another home. And, 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 and so it, it, it becomes a struggle. I wish y'all it it becomes a struggle. And that will become an issue you in your it. marriage. Because now he's working hard, but half of his money is going to another and household. Yeah, what if your baby mama is cool, cool, crazy, honey? Uh oh. That's that don't make it, I'm sorry, that ain't what you well, well, I'm not talking about. I know you know what you Yeah, so so all, all this, so all I'm saying is financially, you have to ask these questions. Yeah. Credit, because what credit now. does, credit and debt speaks to character. Now I know some people fall on hard times, but if you have a history of bad credit and debt, it speaks to your character. Proverbs 22, 21 talks about how your name has to be good. Now, and those of us who live in 2022, you know you're only good as your name and your number. So whenever whenever you go anywhere, they want to ask you what's your driver's license number or your social security number because your number is what you are defined by. And your social security number defines your integrity or your faithfulness and financially. So if you have bad credit, Banks won't even trust you. 
So if a bank won't trust you, if a car dealership won't trust you, if a lending company won't trust you, why would you trust them? Because your character shows me that you don't handle your responsibility. Right. Right. Now, I'm not saying that's for everybody who has bad credit. But what I'm saying, but when a person is trying to get their life together, one of the things that they address is their credit. Right. Because you don't want to be labeled by your credit to say that I'm a person who does not follow through on what I promise. I agree. I agree. And that speaks to a personal character. So when you see people who don't have, who have bad credit, who have overwhelming debt, and they haven't even tried to address it, that person may be a person that you get in a relationship with they may not be responsible enough to keep their word to you. And, and let me add this too, though, because ladies, we are we are notorious for spending like we have no good thoughts. Yes, <laughs> like we done lost our mind. Like I mean, it becomes to a point. It is an addiction. It 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 really is. Now I got a whole problem. Yes, that I have to be purchasing something. And, and I'm trying to tell you that those are conversations that need, don't go into relationship lying. Don't go into relationship knowing you have a whole problem yes. with being undisciplined with your spending habits. And now your spending habits is putting unwanted pressure on your significant other. No, okay, I, okay, okay. So, 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 so let me give you props. Just give me props. Okay. Um, and, 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 and I want people to hear this. Hey, people, we got 85 likes. We need 15 more likes to get this to 100. Can we please try to help us do that? It's quiet. So if there's 15 people on here people. who have not liked it, go ahead and give us 15 more, 15 more likes, 15 more likes. Come on, 15 more likes and see if we can get to 100. So watch this. One thing I can say about her is this. And most people, most people judge you without knowing you. And, and that is, is that. One thing she does not do, and most people don't believe this, is that she does not spend a lot of money oh on anything. She, she, she does not put pressure on me as her husband yeah. to buy her expensive things. Yeah. And um, so, so I, I never have to worry about her buying stuff, hiding bags. Yeah. I, I don't have to worry about her overspending you know, spending thousands of dollars on, on clothes and hair and so I don't have to work. She makes my life so easy. Mm -hmm. And so the reason why I would buy her anything because she don't ask for anything. Mm -hmm. And most people say she don't. So when y'all see she dressed, she, she's a fun, she's fashionable, yeah. but she knows how to be fashionable frugal. on a budget <laughs> and very frugal. Yeah. And so for that, I'm so grateful because most people look at her and they think she's high maintenance because she's so gorgeous and because she has so much style. People assume that she's high maintenance, but she's far from that. She makes my life easy. And the reason why we're wealthy, when I, did I say wealthy? The reason why we're a wealthy family and we live well is because of the woman I'm married to. Because she does not put me in predicaments to where I have to try to overspend to keep up with somebody else. So she makes my life easy. And, and so for that, so, so when she tell you women don't be overspending, she, she's not talking, she's just not telling y'all that to tell y'all that. She's talking to you yeah. from experience and I can attest to that. Yeah. And I, I thank you, boo, but I, I, I do. Now that is one thing that I, people I think have always kind of had a made up mind. That's yes. bad that you hate, keep yes. all thinking. But I have an end in mind. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, I have an end in mind. I know that because I hear people know your your uh, your money is ours. Your you know what I mean? Like I ain't worried about this because I'm gonna use all his money. I think that is some of the silly. I, I just don't believe in ascribing to being a silly woman. Absolutely. I, I grew up and I love y'all. I love my grandmother. I love my mother. But they had shoe boxes put away with money in it for a rainy day. I believe that any rainy day I have that God has already supplied all of my needs according to his riches. And then you got a hover with an umbrella. And I did, oh, I sound about to give you that, but you yeah. know. <laughs> I truly, I know that. 
And I'm grateful for that. But I, I know that it is because God honors my heart toward the, the, you know, the principle of it. I'm like, I'm not trying to put us because, again, you can. It's so easy to feel as if. Let me back up because I, I, I see this often. I see people write like, well, you can't trust your mate. No, that's not my testimony. Well, yeah. you can't trust yours because mine be coming through all the time. Yeah. I mean, all the time. And, and, and I believe because I'm not someone who is always asking for everything and I know what I bring to the table. Women of God, you got to know what you bring to the table. So when a request is made, it's not coming out of thin air or from left field. I got it right. I almost might be wrong. Got it right. I'm, <laughs> I'm growing, boo. Uh, but it's not coming out of you know thin air or from left field. Why? Because now he understands that I'm savvy about my resources. That what I bring to you is because I realize that we as a family is going to be advantageous for us. And if I say make an investment, and I'm back to the Proverbs 31 woman, I have considered the field before yeah. I buy. I have looked at the garment yeah. before I purchased it. I've I've I've, I've, I've counted the cost before I bring she that does. cost to you. Why? Because I understand that we. We are in this together. And let me tell y'all something. If you know someone or you are in relationship with someone or he is a potential or she is a potential and they got secret accounts, boy, they got secrets. That, 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 say that again. If they got secret accounts, they have secrets because people, let me tell you something. Y'all quiet. If you're married. You talk about money. It gets if, if you're married, and them numbers drop me to talk about that. I know. Money. You saw someone. If, if you're married currently and if, if you if you plan to be married, if you have a, if you have secret, if you have private or separate bank accounts, I can promise you yeah. your marriage is suffering. You, you don't even have to tell me that. Because if you're divided in your money, you're going to be divided in your, okay. you, you, if you divided in your money, you're going to be divided in your marriage. Because your money, and if you constantly stay where you have separate bank accounts, eventually you're going to be divorced. Yeah. Because one of the things that God proves to us that our money does is our money shows us where our heart is. Yeah. And if I take my money from you, I'm telling you, you don't have my heart. Yeah. This is this is jump. This is Matthew when chapter Matthew, Matthew five, uh, six and twenty one. Wherever your heart is, that's, that's where your treasure is. is. Yeah. So your money goes where your. If you take your money from me. Yeah. You're telling me that your heart is not with me. Yeah. I know. So, well, what? What if he's bad with money? What if she's bad that's with money? Now, that's I know people ask that. Yeah. What if she's bad with money? What if he's bad with money? There are ways that you can have an account where you can put a restriction on that because most, if they're bad with money, they probably don't know nothing about banking. Mm -hmm. So, if they don't know nothing about banking, and you know, and you know more about banking, you can give them a credit card and put a limit on it. Yeah. And so when they go to spend, they won't be able to spend. And you yeah. can do that online banking. And, it and, and you can control that yourself. Yeah. And it doesn't make him not a provider because he's not the one handling the accounts. Right. Right. Yeah. Now, I handle all of the money mm -hmm. now. I'm the CFO of my home. So she trusts me to do that. I do. And be, but she can tell you she should never have to go without. Lights are always going to be on. Bills are going to be paid. Yes. Everything she needs, she can go anywhere right now and buy anything she wants. Because as the CFO, oh, CFO say, that, say that before the people. She could buy anything she wants, anything, whatever, right now, and can. <laughs> so she can go. She, as a CFO of the house, my responsibility is to make sure that finances are available for the running of our empire. Yeah. But what about the woman who can't? What the woman who can't? The what? woman who can't trust him if, to have a running empire. If, if you can't trust your man to be the one to handle the finances, you handle the finances. But once again, like I said, if because if he can't handle the finances, then he's probably not good with banking. And if you handle the finances, you're probably more astute with banking. But so, you can't emasculate. Him no, you, you 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 can't okay, you okay. cannot. That's but right. but you have to protect him while you protect you right. and the house. Right. So you may have to go online or to the bank and make sure that you set up restrictions on his card. While he's out, so he's only limited by what he can spend. Mm -hmm. And then because you're online, you can tell everything that he's spending his money on, and that way you can hold him accountable. But when people have separate bank, separate, separate bank accounts, 
then it, it, it gives you more opportunities to walk in lack of character because now you can do what you want to do and there's no accountability with your spouse. So if you want to be a person who wants to be accountable to your spouse, keep a bank account with joint, a joint bank account. And then that way, whatever you do, your spouse can see it. And most likely when we are being monitored, we respond different when we're not monitored. We need eight more likes, people, eight more. Come on, get us to these eight. So if you're eight people on here and you have not liked this video, like this video, give us eight more likes. We need to get to 100. Okay, so 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 that, that, that that's it. So we, we talked about finance, but if you have questions, but you have questions, uh, we'll stop right here. You want to stop right here? Let's stop right here, and we, we'll talk about some more next week. So what we need you to do is this. Here, here here's our email address, and or you can go to the 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 the, the um you, you can go to the um uh, our inbox on Brownie Points, and and if you have any questions or any topics that you would like us to discuss. Drop them. We got to drop them, and we'll and we'll discuss them. So here, here's our email address. If you need to just drop an email address, um, drop an email to us. So drop an email to us of topics or questions yeah. that you have. We'll answer them. I promise you. Or you can go to Brian Points Talk, our our Facebook page. So if you haven't gone to our Facebook page, Brian Points Talk, like this page and turn on your notifications. So it, watch this now. Every other Thursday, so next Thursday we won't be live, but the following Thursday we will be. Right. So we only doing two two Thursdays per month. Live, live. Everything so, else is going to be on the face on the on the page. Uh, yeah, we're we're also going to be pulling up a YouTube page, things of that nature. So we want we'll let you all know that information. So yes. get ready. Yeah. So we need five more people to like this. Five more likes, and then we we'll be at a hundred. Uh, any questions before we go? Any, any questions before? We go? It is, so we'll take three more questions. The first three questions. Has this helped anybody? Three more questions. If you like this, if this has helped you, drop some brown hearts. Remember, I will sign hearts to our fingers. Drop the hearts. Drop the hearts. Put some brown hearts in the comments. If this has helped you, say, man, this has helped me. We need five more people. Four more people. Come on. Can we get a four? 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 Can we Come on. We need an auction. We need four more people to like this to get us to 100. So we have four people who have not liked this video. Go ahead and like us. Just, just roll with the brown. If, if it was very helpful, um, Miss Alicia McMillan. I will address you and your um, wife. Three more people. Come on, three more people. What's she saying? Let me see. What if separate accounts are a mutually preferred agreement that you both have access to? We trust each other wholeheartedly. Our accounts are just separate. I, th th that sounds good in theory, yeah. but in principle, that doesn't make sense, yeah. Miss McMillan. Not saying that's not your case. All I'm saying is that it's impossible to be on the same page when your money is not together. Now, and this is not what we're saying. Like I said, we're saying this. Like like we said on the onset, when we give wisdom, we give wisdom based on we give wisdom based on biblical principle. Right. And based on the Bible, Jesus says that wherever your heart is, that's where your money is. So if you can divide your money, your heart is divided. And for most people, and we've been doing, like I said, we're licensed counselors, and we've been doing this for 19 years almost. And we've been counseling people on all on all levels. Right. And when people have separate accounts, it's because there's something going on in their marriage. And eventually, ultimately, everyone we've seen, they have marital issues and most people lead to divorce. Yeah. So so if, if it's mutually agreed upon with both of you guys, my question to you is, why is it agreed upon and, what's, and what would be the downfall or the negative of putting both accounts together? Yeah. Because having both accounts together, it also holds each Person accountable to your spending 
and also what you spend, where you spend your money. Yeah, and let me add this, is it may not be that you don't necessarily trust each other as you may not trust yourself. It, 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 it has so, to be something right, right, right So ultimately, even if you don't trust each other, but you don't trust yourself, it still can become an issue. What we're trying to prevent is a mountain becoming, I mean, a molehill becoming a mountain. You're doing so good. I'm doing right. good, baby. <laughs> we need three more people to like this video. But but also it it all hear me and I think what he said Alicia Alicia you asked the question because you both have separate accounts but it literally goes against what God he said in in the book of Genesis chapter let, let chapter two what verse twenty four something of that nature he said I, I gotta make sure that the want. two become one yes yeah, so we become one is everything if we become one boy it ain't just in my it, it's got to be my mind it's got to be my finances it has to become intimacy it has to become parenting it has to become all of those things where we have what we were divided in what was separate what was division became one vision yes yes what was separate now became singular Yes. So you have to ask yourself, okay, we got it, but y'all, listen, you're married, but you're still living single. Hey, are yeah. we really acting? Are we really I married? And, 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 then, and then for the people, I've, I've heard people say this, like, I paid and my wife paid me back. What? Huh? What? Alone? Like, 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 I, yeah. I, like I paid for the house and my wife paid me and, and, my, and my wife paid for the bills. What? No, it's one account. One. It, it's it's no. I I pay for the one. car and my wife pay one. for the gas. One. Or I pay one. for the house and my wife pay for the water. Saying. No, it, it's it's our money together. Our. So so we can either our. pay it from her car to mine, but it's coming from the same, the same account. account. Yeah, but it's no like. And then I she don't buy nothing. Then I sell her, pay me back. Mm -hmm. No, you owe me. No, yeah, you know some people say, well, I bought this for you, so my wife had to pay me back. That is, I'm telling you, if you're in that place, I promise you, you, you don't even have to tell me this. Your intimacy is lacking, and there's something going on in your marriage. There's a disconnect. There's a disconnect it somewhere. It may not have been discovered yet. But it will but be. Trust and believe. It will be. That's something you got to fix. Yeah. What was it? That was good. When with someone you intend to marry, intend, hi, Amber, and, okay, and that wasn't the question. All right. And you see issues in communication as the main issue. What is the best approach to address this before marriage? Communication is communication is is is, is very vital. Now, you, you talk first. <laughs> Come real talk. We still over here nineteen years in, still trying to communicate. What, 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 that's all I'm just saying. I, well, I don't that, think communication is a I, deal breaker. It's not a deal breaker, but that goes back to the two becoming one. Yes. That goes back to, uh, and I, we didn't quote the scripture, but 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 knowing, but but making sure you dwell with them according to knowledge. Yeah. Uh, if if it deals with communication. And now, if that individual is completely, sh completely shutting down, and you can't get a point across, or, uh, or let's back up. Let me back up. And you over talking, right? You talk too much, and you never shut up. So, I mean, it's it's different issues, different scenarios there. But I tell you, if communication is the main issue, you have to figure out what is it that needs to take priority. What the because everything you can't address all at once. And everything needs to be talked about. Everything needs to be talked. We're gonna deal with the finances and all. You know, we're not gonna deal with all of that real talk in the very beginning. And I tell you this: when you are in, when it is a prospect prospect because y'all ain't married yet that person makes modifications in order to accommodate your feelings and your emotions in the very beginning yes now that's a, they may not communicate it, but if you see them actually making changes that is them communicating I hope that helped because they may not be able to verbalize or vocalize. And over time, again, we 19 years in. I don't know. I understand sometimes when he's saying nothing, he spoke louder than when he actually uses his words. Yeah, and I, I, I think that's important. I think as you grow, you just start to discover that all communication is not verbal. You, you have what is called nonverbal communication. Yeah. And I think once you get to know a person and you marry the person, then you understand that, that it ain't all about what they say. Yeah. Sometimes, like I said, the 
the augmentations in their actions speaks to their their ability to communicate because everybody's not good at verbally communicating their feelings. Some people just move by actions. And so just because I don't You're say an action it, guy. I'm an action guy, so I'm, I'm not necessarily the guy. Not a man of many words. I'm not a guy who sit down and just talk. And, 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 and so most people, because I, I talk for a living, yeah. most people think that we talk, I don't talk much when I'm home. So I'm more of a modification guy. If, if she has a concern, I modify my behavior, and that's me letting her know I heard you, and let me communicate my response yeah. to what I heard. I agree. And, and so if you have any issues in that regard, what you have to do, make sure that before you marry somebody, talk to your pastors and let your pastor lay eyes on this person and let your pastor uh, scrutinize Ooh. or interrogate. Interrogate. <laughs> and so that way we can say, and then trust your leaders enough to say when they say, okay, you probably should not go there. No. Trust your leaders, okay? <clears throat> this is the last Carol one. Sarah. Last one. Hi, Carrie, Sarah. How do you forgive? Oh, this is a good one. How do you forgive after infidelity? Will it ever get better? If you want to, if, if you want to, we're living witness. Yeah. Like we remember, we said in the office, yeah. people. Hold on, before we go, we need. I we gonna answer this. Question. I know we're ninety seven. We need three people. If oh my God! If we don't get to hundred, Carol. Because you privately sitting on the we're, 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 we're answer your question next week. So if you don't, and we need three more people. If y'all want us to answer this question, we need three yeah, more people three. to yeah. like this video. If not, we're not. We we. We 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 need to be quiet. We need to be quiet. Yeah. We, also, I'll tell you what. No, I we say be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't even feel right. Oh we, my god. We, we need three more people. Well, no, but listen. Uh, we no, need two more. This. We need two we, more we people. We need two more people. Let me say this though. Two more people. We are looking for an administrator. One more people. We're looking for ambassadors. We're looking for individuals who will connect with us to help push the initiative of Brownie Points. Guys, we just want to get the relationship advice out there from a biblical viewpoint. I am so sick and tired of the enemy running rampant in, in what God has ordained as good. And so we're looking for individuals who, will, who want to be a part of that. We want to move forward into being on podcasts. So, 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 so if you want to set up podcasts, talk, talk, talk to us. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> He like, hurry up, get to the point. Because I was trying to give y'all an opportunity to get to 100, right? I was trying to do a commercial. Oh, we're right? not going to answer the question. He ain't going to answer this question, y'all. He, he keeps tapping my leg on, you better not answer this question. All right? So I'm telling you, this is where we want to go with it. If this has been beneficial to you, if it has been helpful to you, just think about how much more helpful it would be if we can get this word out on uh, to the masses. So we're excited. Listen, we need one more person. Let me see if I can like it. Hold on. We, we, I like we, it. We what what does it take for us to like it? Okay. We I'm need one person to like it. We're not one answering person. the question. He said we ain't answering. And that's a good question. Oh, that's a good one. But we ain't answering. Let me see. I need to just keep harding it. Is that what it is? It, 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 no, you did it. No, you uh, can't. I can't hard it. We no need more. one more person. One more person. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it that's holding that? Boo, just like it. Other people won't know that you've been out here. That's okay. You can still do it in private. Just go ahead and hard it. 100. Who's going to be the 100? Who's going to be the 100? Zero, zero, zero? We're not answering the question. He is not letting us do it. Y'all, he is 99. <laughs> Lord, I'm wrong. Trying to make a Trying to make a hundred. Hundred. 99 and I have no do. 99. It he is not. Y'all think you hit my leg like you are not about to answer this question. There you go. <laughs> All right. Okay. Who All right. did? You know that anybody gonna tell the truth. Whoever did that, who's who the last it? person that liked it? Let's sow a seed. Can we sow a seed? No, no, okay, no. so here it is. So <laughs> it's like no, so, so, so how do you forgive after infidelity? Oh, this is a crucial I think it is. And will it ever it get better? Kara, yeah. Kara, Sarah. It can it be was better. serious though. It can get better. It will. And, and and I would tell you, and we're a living example that yeah, it can get better. I love you, Lord. And oh. so, and we've been through this. Honey. And so I will say to you, the way you forgive, here, here, here is number one. If you're gonna forgive, you can't continue to talk about it. If if you if you choose to stay, this is not just for her. If you choose to stay, you can't choose to stay and live backwards. Yeah. 
So we cannot continue to discuss the infraction if the person has sincerely asked you to forgive you. If they've asked for forgiveness, don't continue to discuss it. When you have these issues and these thoughts, 2 Corinthians 10, 4, 5, you pull down every thought That's it. and imagine that you pull it down. That's it. I know in your flesh and your feelings, you don't want to say it. You don't want to get this off of your chest. You're hurting and you want them to hurt like you hurt. And you're mad and you want them to feel the pain and you feel like you justified in your wow. anger and you feel like you justified in, in how you treat them. If you can just pull that down and say, although I'm feeling this, I'm not going to release it out of my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Because the more you talk about it, the, you keep it fresh. And if you keep it fresh, you'll never get beyond it. But you can overcome infidelity. Yeah. And the way you do it is by constantly forgiving, making a conscious effort to forgive daily yeah. and never discuss it again. Yeah. And then always remember this. Don't, and here's number two. Don't let the devil make you think you look stupid or, idiot. or yeah. like you look like a fool or you embarrassed to love the person again. Yeah. Because the devil will make you think, oh, I look so stupid. Oh, I look foolish. I look crazy. He will make you think, he will try to make you feel That's that good. way to keep you from expressing or showing the love that you really desire to show yeah. toward the person that you love. Yeah, but because you think you look foolish, you'll start, you'll, you'll withhold your love because you don't want to look like you're stupid. Yeah. And, and here's the last thing, and, and, and I know she has some more. Number third. Don't always go off how you feel. Love is not based on a feeling. Forgiveness is not based on a feeling. Yeah. If you rely on your feeling, you'll never forgive. You never will. And you'll never heal. You never will. Because you'll never feel like you, never you forgive. Or you feel like you, you, you can't go off of your feelings. Because if you go off your feelings, you're always going to be angry, mad, sad, depressed, and always. angry. Always. But if you go off your faith, your faith says that I believe those things with not as though they are. So it does not matter how I feel. Love, when God says forgive, he's not telling you feel like forgiving. He's just telling you forgive. When he say love, he's not telling you to love based off how you feel. He's just saying love. And so we live in a generation now where people say this. People say this all the time. I'm not fake. I can't fake it. So you're saying you can't fake it, but I will tell y'all this, and this is biblical. It's not, it's not, it's not explicit, but it's implied. Fake it until you feel it. Sometimes you have to go through the motions until your emotions catch up with your motions. Somebody put that in the comment. Sometimes you have to go through the motions until your emotions catch up with your motions. So that means sometimes you just have to you have to just do it even when you don't feel it. Yeah. You got to hug them when you don't feel it. Right. You have to say I love you when you don't feel it. You have to make love to them when you don't feel it. You 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 have to you you have to call them when you so whatever you yeah. do, you do it even though you don't feel it. And although your emotions has not caught up with your emotions, yeah. eventually your emotions catch up with your emotions. I agree. And you're doing it as unto God. Colossians 3.23. You're doing it. And I want you to write this down. He, he just gave you, what was it? Colossians 3.23. 3.23. You're doing it as unto God. But I want you to write this in the comments. Proverbs 6.32. It says, he who commits adultery lacks understanding, yeah. lacks good sense. This is the part that blessed me. And I believe on some level it helped both of us navigate through our marriage. The B portion of that says, he who does it destroys himself. I believe that even in the midst of you going through adultery, that individual has to be so self-destructive in those moments that God reveals him, her to themselves that you can, they can now see, I didn't have a good understanding of what covenant was all about. I didn't have a good understanding of what relationship was all about. 
I didn't have a good understanding of what God ordained for a man and one man to be together. Uh, but for you, but, but I, I think Go it's ahead. important for you uh -huh. to understand that according to the Bible, the only reason yeah. people commit adultery is because they they lack they lack bread. understanding. It has nothing to do with the individual. It has nothing to do with, oh, you ain't fine. Oh, you look some type of way. Oh, they had more than what you had. Yes. They, you know, the cookie was this on this one, and this was this, and you know, the D was it. Now, honestly, it had nothing to do with that. It had everything to do with that individual lack of understanding. That's why. They lack of understanding. The B portion of that, again, that individual destroys himself. Real talk. You can't, no matter how much you operate in unforgiveness, you can't destroy them more than their lack of understanding destroys them. It, it, it messes them up. It, 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 if you, back to our number one point, believe. Yes. And I'm telling you that you can get to a place where you can love them beyond yes. if you desire to. You have to have a desire to go beyond just being healed to being made whole. Yes. You have to go beyond that. I'm telling you, you can laugh again, you can love again, and you can do it where it's as if you've never been hurt before by that individual. But you only get there by understanding it. the atrocity, the adultery, was it against me, that's, although it felt personal, that, that, that is so it powerful. was not against me. That's so it powerful. was against God because God put covenant together. That's and so let me powerful. tell y'all something that I know to be true. That's I powerful. know you know that nobody will repay you for your ignorance or your negligence more than God will. Yes. Nobody. And so if they did you wrong, if God they did it. you wrong, you better trust and believe. So right now to the individual that is contemplating, you did me, let me get you back. Don't do it. The consequences aren't cute. The consequences are not pretty. But you can love again. You really can. And I'm not telling you that it takes time. It really don't take time. It's up to you how long it takes. Yeah. If you want to remain a victim and be validated in your anger, it's going to take a long time. I, 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 I think that's so, I, I'm going to let you keep that. I think that's so, yeah. I think that's so powerful. And this is, this is a real moment. I think everybody needs to get this. Hello, Michelle. Is that if, if you're the victim, I don't want to say victim. If, if, if you're the person who, who have been hurt by infidelity, your pride will make you think it was because of you. Mm -hmm. But it's not you. It's, it's not. against God. It's against God. It, it's, it's against, against God. God. And 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 the, and the most important thing is that when you just read the scripture, Proverbs six and thirty two, mm -hmm. the person who does it lacks understanding. Mm -hmm. If a person lacks understanding, that has nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. It has everything to do with their inability to comprehend the purpose of the marriage. Right. And the covenant, and until a person understands that, you 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 you'll, you'll always experience the pain of it. Mm -hmm. But it's not you. Re remember, yeah, remember what David says in Psalms fifty-one. Read it, people. David in Psalms fifty-one. If you're coming on, like this video. If you're coming on for the first time, like this video, please, and share it. David says in Psalm fifty-one, after he committed adultery with Bathsheba and had Uriah killed. He prayed to God. He said, against you, against you and you only have I sinned. Mm -hmm. So although other people were involved, David said, God, ultimately, I hurt you because yeah. I didn't understand my role in my walk with you. Yeah. And when you understand that, you understand that the person may do it to you, yeah. but it's against God yeah. because they lack understanding of covenant. Yeah. I thought that was powerful. Yeah. I'm telling you, I, I can only speak from whence we've come. You yeah, know? That, that, I can only speak from whence we've come. That, that, and I can tell you, you know, that you can love. I don't think I love you like I needed to and unconditionally like it needed to be until I understood that the things that have taken place wasn't against each other. Yeah, I, I think, I it, think was, so. it was it was our lack of belief in what God ordained. And I think we both were there. I, I yeah. know I was there. Yeah. You know, like, the, you know, I, I didn't really understand covenant. I agree. I agree. I didn't understand covenant to the point to where things that I did to hurt you, I didn't 
my understanding was off. Right. It, it wasn't that I was trying to hurt you. It right. was that I didn't understand that hurting you was hurting him. Right. And vice versa. Right. And so so it has nothing to do with I don't he like was you. Mind, he's always forever mindful of me. Yes, yes. And, and so yeah. if I hurt you, I hurt him. Right. And, and so I think that it was my lack of understanding that God is there. And to the persons on here tonight, to the people on tonight who are dealing with that right now, you said, I'm in that place right now where we're dealing yep. with infidelity. Yeah. And I can't forgive. I can't forgive. And I'm hurting. And I'm ready to walk away. I love him. I love her. I don't know how to deal with this. Help me get beyond this. Let me tell you, you can get beyond it. You can yes, get, you can. I promise you, you yes, can get you can. beyond it. And we're living witnesses that you can. Yes, you can. We, everybody, we have a transparent, we, we, we have experienced infidelity in our marriage. Honey. But we've survived, and yeah. now we're about to celebrate 19 years. Not honey. But it was only God that helped us get beyond it. Yes, and so when we tell you you can overcome it, you can overcome it. When you're right in the middle of it, it sometimes feel like it's unbearable, and it feel like it, it, it feel like it's, it's the worst thing that you ever experienced. But you can overcome it if you if you trust that God can get you out of it. And I'm telling you, He can, people. I'm telling you, He can. And 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 this is just and this right here is is testimony that God can recover and restore and boy, you. And he's sexier now than he And she's so fine. <laughs> And I know I love her more I, now I, than I ever. Do. I love you more now. And, 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 yeah. and, we, and I say that and I yeah. mean that, you know. And, uh, but but let me say this. I, I think, too, it was changed behavior. Absolutely. Yeah. You, now, you have, I, yeah, yeah. So if, if, I, if you forgive, that yeah. needs to be some modification right. in your behavior. Yeah, I, I forgave. I believe you forgave. But there was some modifications to our personal lives that also helped. In the advancement of our reconnecting, yeah, because right? because you can't yeah, say can't. you can't say I'm no longer cheating, yeah, and your behavior hadn't changed. Come on now. So 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 that means this. So if, if a person says they're sorry for, for for infidelity, but they still have they still have their phone on lock, they private. That you, you don't you don't know the passwords to their email, their Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> chat, Snapchat. Um, you want to say chat, snap? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and you have to watch it now. You you have to watch. So I if they have that. this secret lifestyle yeah. that they haven't allowed there you no in yet, and there are no modifications, then perhaps they are not sincere. Yeah. But whenever you say you that you're changed, your spouse needs to see the behavior. Yeah. Okay. And these things. Look, we're done, people. We're, I know we're this was good. They wanted to know how do they sew. I want to make sure I give you the opportunity. L to listen. Uh, uh, so so like, okay, people, listen to it. This is going to be the brownie point seed every every other first we come on. It's going, you so got yeah, a, a number uh, seventeen dollars. Seventeen. That's what the Lord said. I love it. Seventeen dollars. Okay. Uh, that, that's also Miss Vaughn. Twenty seven years. What she said. Twenty seven. Seventeen dollars, people. Listen, seventeen dollars. This is what the Lord said. This is going to be. This is going to be the the brownie point seed. Seventeen dollars. We want to sew. You can sew it to those places. Yeah. Seventeen dollars, and and that and, 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 and seventeen and. And when you sow these seeds, the people, they go going straight to Ronnie Point's yeah. ministry page. Yeah. And, and, and we're going to do retreats for married people yes, we and are. singles. It is. So it's just not going to be for married. It's going to be for married people and singles. Yeah. People, and we're going to end up having a conference before this we year are. is out where we invite everybody in, not just for married people, but for singles. And so it's going to be different things that we do. Dr. Mimi and I have written a book. We've written a book on, on marriage and we've written a book to singles. And so, so, so when when that thing come out, because you guys are supportive, um, you guys get half off on the books and everything. Uh, and when you're invited to the conferences, you get perks, you get perks at the conferences. Jamaica, I can't wait to talk to you. It's yeah. been busy, busy, busy. But you now you see what we're doing, and so yes. I can't wait to connect with you. And guys, I I know he did we didn't put it out there, but I have a mentorship program that I would love, love, love if you ladies are looking for someone to mentor you in the things of marriage, ministry, motherhood, money. I, it doesn't really matter. I am all about all things kingdom and so looking forward to have you when is the book coming out you know what i don't we have so much to talk about i don't think that we even have a a topic for what a book would be yeah, no, but, we, but we, i don't we, know we, i mean i know i know we all, it's we called, that out. 
But go ahead. It's you called I it? still, still, I still do. Remember? You still want to move? Okay. Yeah. Hey. So, hey, so hey, we, hey. If, if, I if, thought we were revamping a little bit, but nevertheless, we revamping. I, I agree. But we got books coming out. I, yeah, we do. We we really have moments that are coming out. We're excited about all that God is doing. Uh, and, and to be honest with you, we want to come to a city near you. So if you have uh, a pastor, now we trying to deal with no renegades, but if you have a pastor uh, ministry where you have a proper covering and they have a, a vibrant or not, it may not be a vibrant uh, marriage and relationship ministry and you want the Browns to come, listen, the Browns have a bundle package for you. So we want to bring this relationship uh, information and data that we have acquired over years of experience. We want to bring it to you. And so if you desire to be a part of it, please email us. We can put the email there, which was Brownie Points. Was Brownie, Brownie Points, Points Live. Brownie Points Live at, at, G, uh, at, at Gmail. Gmail. Sorry. Uh, Brownie Points Live at gmail.com. We want to hear from you. We're excited. Today, we only gave about two points as it related, so we didn't talk about it. Now we're both frustrated. We want to bring information to you that we believe that will be relevant toward your growth process in relationship, whether married, single, uh, friendships, family, all that good stuff. So we're excited. We're excited. Amen. Right. So, so once again, it's, 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 this this is gonna be the brand point. See if you ever come on, you're like, what? What, what can I sell? Seventeen dollars. And why seventeen? Because seventeen is it's the number victory. of victory. It's victory. And, and so, if, if if you if you desire to sell, you you you're, you're willing, you you can sell at those at those yeah. areas. Yeah. At Brownie Points Live at Cash App and at Brownie Points Live. Yeah. Um, at Gmail. Um, and that's Zell. But listen, um, we, we appreciate you guys. Remember, we won't be on next Thursday. We'll be on every other Thursday. So it so it it'll be on uh, the tenth of um the 10th yeah. of oh, February. Right before our anniversary. Yeah, so we'll be so we'll be doing brownie points from Denver, Colorado. Oh, are we headed to I'm so, going to the snow. So we so she, snow she, she didn't want to go to, to snow <laughs> so for our anniversary. I'm gonna take her to I want a Denver, snow suit, y'all. To Denver, Colorado for okay. our anniversary. So we're okay. gonna be doing brownie points Thank you for your seat. from Denver, Colorado. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So from Denver, Colorado. So so uh, once again, look, we, we appreciate you guys so much, and we thank you all I love it. so much. Hey, so once again, if you're on here and you just got on, share, like the video like. and share the video. Yeah. Please like it and share it. Turn on your notifications. Good, go like the church. Go not the church, but go like the church page. Go, He's go, such go, a pastor. Go like. <laughs> hey, look, if if, you, if you've been to Denver and you got some recommendations of let us of, know. of places we can go, shoot us some stuff. Boy, I'm gonna go. be a snow. Oh, I promise y'all make some so excited. I'm ready for my snowsuit. Listen, we love you guys. We're so grateful. Until next time, continue to send us the brown hearts. Uh, and we're excited to continue this journey with you. Uh, come here. We're getting 20 inches. What? Where are you, Jamaica? I don't know if I want to go to the to the 20 inches. They're they in Massachusetts. They Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Okay, no, no, no. We might have been coming there. But I'm excited about what we're doing. Thank you for your seed, woman of God. Thank you. You want to pray us out of here? Yes, Father, we thank you. Thank you so much, um, Tanisha Smallwood and Power for your seed. Um, amen. So Victor. thank you, Lord, for we're speaking victory. Victor, we're speaking victory over you. not only just your marriage, but in your singleness. We're speaking victory over that. Thank you, Father God, that you eliminate frustration out of their marriages and out of their personal lives. And we thank you that tonight every word that was released would be a blessing to them. And we thank you, Father God, that you're restoring marriages and you're building people individually who will become great spouses in marriages. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen, we love y'all. Once again, if you have not liked this video, like it, share it. It'll be uploaded to YouTube yes. um, tomorrow. And so we have a YouTube page also called Brownie Points Live. And so um, everything that we do here will be going to YouTube as well. Yeah. So listen, we love you guys. Thank you all so much. Y'all have a good night. Bye.